What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy fat-like substance that's found in all the cells in your body. Your body needs some cholesterol to make hormones, vitamin D and substances that help you digest foods. Your body makes all the cholesterol it needs. Cholesterol is both good and bad. At normal levels, it is an essential substance for the body. However, if concentrations in the blood get too high, it becomes a silent danger that puts people at risk of heart attack. Where does cholesterol comes from? The liver is responsible for managing the levels of LDL that is low density lipoproteins in the body. It manufactures and secretes LDL into the bloodstream. There are receptors on liver cells that can monitor and try to adjust the LDL levels. However, if there are fewer liver cells or if they do not function effectively, the LDL level may rise. There are two types of cholesterol. Low density lipoprotein LDL that is bad cholesterol. High density lipoproteins HDL that is good cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is called bad cholesterol because elevated levels of LDL cholesterol are associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease, stroke and peripheral artery disease. LDL lipoprotein deposits cholesterol along the inside of artery walls causing the formation of hard thick substance called cholesterol plaque. The next one is HDL cholesterol high density lipoprotein. HDL cholesterol is called the good cholesterol because HDL cholesterol particles prevent atherosclerosis by extracting cholesterol from the artery walls and deposing of them through the liver. Thus high levels of LDL cholesterol and low levels of HDL cholesterol are risk factors for atherosclerosis. While low levels of LDL cholesterol and high levels of HDL cholesterol are desirable and protect against heart disease and stroke. What causes high cholesterol? Many different factors can contribute to high blood cholesterol, including lifestyle factors like smoking, an unhealthy diet and lack of exercise, as well as having an underlying condition such as high blood pressure or diabetes. Having high cholesterol does not usually produce any symptoms. If lifestyle changes are unsuccessful or cholesterol levels are very high, a doctor may prescribe a lipid lowering drugs. High cholesterol is a significant risk factor for coronary heart disease and a cause of heart attacks. A buildup of cholesterol is a part of the process that narrows arteries called atherosclerosis. In atherosclerosis, plagues form and cause restriction of blood flow. Reducing the intake of fat in the diet helps to manage cholesterol levels. In particular, it is helpful to limit foods that contain cholesterol. This is present in animal foods, meat and cheese. Saturated fat. This occurs in some meats, dairy products, chocolates, baked goods, deep fried and processed foods. Trans fats. This occurs in some fried and processed foods. Excess weight or obesity can also lead to higher blood LDL levels. Genetic factors can contribute to high cholesterol. People with the inherited condition, familial hypercholesterolemia have very high LDL levels. Other conditions that can lead to high cholesterol levels include diabetes, liver or kidney disease, polycystic ovary syndrome, pregnancy and other conditions that increase levels of female hormones, underactive thyroid gland drugs that increase LDL cholesterol and decrease HDL cholesterol such as progestins, anabolic steroids and corticosteroids. High cholesterol symptoms A person with high cholesterol levels often has no signs or symptoms, but routine screening and regular blood tests can help detect high levels. A person who does not undergo testing 
may have heart attack without warning because they did not know that they had high cholesterol levels regular test can help to reduce this risk in adults total cholesterol levels less than 200 mg per deciliter are considered healthy a reading between 200 and 239 mg per deciliter is borderline a reading of 240 mg deciliter and above is considered as high ldl cholesterol levels should be less than 100 mg per deciliter hdl levels should be kept higher the optimal reading for hdl level is of 60 mg per deciliter or higher a reading of less than 40 mg per deciliter can be a major risk factor for heart disease a reading from 41 mg per deciliter to 59 mg per deciliter is borderline low preventing high cholesterol people who wish to reduce their cholesterol levels or maintain a suitable level can make four major lifestyle decisions eat a heart healthy diet regularly exercise avoid smoking achieve and maintain a healthy weight these actions will reduce the risk of coronary heart disease and heart attack how can high cholesterol be treated there are a number of ways to treat high cholesterol these include lipid lowering therapy for a person with high cholesterol levels drug treatment will depend on their cholesterol level and other risk factors recommendations usually start with diet and exercise but people with high risk of heart attack may need to use statins or other medications when you have high cholesterol the first thing you do is to change your diet and fitness less saturated fat no trans fat less sugar and more activity if that doesn't bring down your bad cholesterol enough your doctor may suggest that you also take medicines to help out you still need to keep up those lifestyle habits there are several different types of prescription drugs that lower ldl cholesterol get to know what each of them does the most common cholesterol medications are atorvastatin fluvastatin lovastatin pitavastatin pravastatin rosuvastatin